that ending though. Did you see it? What's up YouTube? It's it's Ars Mario here and I just watched Erased and I have to say Okay, um The show itself is pretty strong. The show it's a pretty strong show. I mean That ending though <laughs> I mean the show follows a character by the name of uh, Sotaru. He's a young man um, who can basically go back in time at random intervals so he can't really control it and well you know what is that a butterfly he raised is a solid show it follows a guy by the name of Sotaru who is able um, to basically kind of see when something bad's about to happen or when someone's about to die and he has the ability to basically call it was an ability called revival that basically puts him back in time a specific interval of time in order to allow him to stop whatever's going to happen but he sees the butterfly and it take and he, he jumps back in time and he has to look around himself to see what is different and what's out of place to see what he has to do to stop whatever bad's about to happen. But, yeah, you know, I mean, the show is, is pretty interesting. And basically, he has to go back in time. He is thrown all the way back in time, 18 years, to when he's a kid in school. And he has to basically, not exactly solve three murders, but kind of prevent three murders from happening. Um, so it's a weird kind of mystery because he's not really out to find the killer. I mean, he kind of is, but he kind of isn't. His main goal is to protect these three girls. He's not really in there like, oh, I need to find this killer. Like, that's not exactly his goal. It's part of it. You know, if he can find the killer, that would save the girls. But his main thing is to save the girls. And, um, you know, Satoru is... That's basically what he's trying to do. One of these girls is another one of the main characters that they spend the most time on, and that's Hinazuki. Hinazuki. Um, her character is just... I mean, she... Her life is just so freaking bad, and her character is just like... <sighs> it's like... <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, but... The relationship between those two is interesting. The show itself is pretty strong, and it does what it needs to do pretty well. As far as the mystery aspect of the show, it actually leads you in, like, multiple directions to other people, you know, that could be the killer, but they aren't. And once you figure out who the killer is, you're kind of like, really? Really, though? And that's where we get into the ending, which I'll talk about later. But let's get into the pros and cons of Erased. Um, the animation itself is actually pretty good. I mean, the art style is, is nothing fantastic, but it is pretty good though. I mean, it's palatable. I say the art style is palatable. You know, another pro of the show is the music. For some reason, the music in this show I haven't been able to find nearly as many songs as I did for Legend of Arslan, but the music I have found is pretty good. I mean, it goes from sad to like kind of, you know, kind of like in, the, in between like sad and normal. I guess you could say <laughs> that's a thing, but the music itself is pretty good. I mean, we got another, uh, some pretty interesting tracks from Yuki Kajira. Which is always a good thing. Um, another pro of the show is definitely the mystery aspects. Like I said before, the clues that they find in the in the show kind of lead them. Well, they don't really lead them because they're not looking for the killer. They're trying to protect these characters. But it leads you as a viewer to think that this person might have done it, 
or that person might have done it. And there's a couple of other characters who might have done it. Another pro, which is weird for me since I don't really like this type of anime, is the romance. The romance, between, well, kind of, sort of, between um, Satoru and Hinazuki is interesting because they're two opposites. Like, Hizaru, I mean, um, Hizaru. Um, <laughs> Satoru is kind of like an outgoing, kind of like courageous, headstrong character. And Hinazuki is the opposite. She is withdrawn. She is, you know, kind of cold. And seeing him try to win her over and get close to her, not in a romantic way, but in a way to kind of keep her from dying, is interesting to me. I don't know why. I'm not a fan of romance anime. I don't like rom-coms. I don't like romance. It's just not me. At least maybe not yet. I'm kind of evolving as an anime viewer, but at the moment it's not me. But this was interesting. One last pro here would probably be the comedy. There are some comedy scenes in here, and specifically with him just spouting out things that he's supposed to think. He's basically thinking out loud. He doesn't mean to say these things, but he does. And those moments kind of, they're, they're pretty, they're like bright moments in an otherwise kind of dark, kind of melancholy show. And I like that. <laughs> Cons. Everything in life has a con. There's a negative to everything. And even this show has them. And they come up in the second half. Or actually more like the second third, really. No, I would say the last like 20% of the show. Like the last two to three episodes. And I'm getting kind of flashbacks of Charlotte here. Nowhere near extreme as Charlotte was, but flashbacks of Charlotte. You know, because they do kind of wrap things up in the last three or four episodes. Um, I mean, one con definitely is the amount of time they spend on the victims. There are technically three victims in this show. They really spend most of the show on one, and that's Hinazuki. I know she's one of the main characters, but they spend so much time on her arc of the story... They don't really build the other two victims that are a big part of the story. He has to save these people's lives in order to rectify his future. So, why didn't they spend more time on them? You know, that is one of the cons there. Another one would probably be the pacing. Now, this one is not much for me as it will be for other people trying to watch the show. I'm kind of getting used to shows that have a slower pacing now. Ever since watching shows like this and like Mushishi and some other slower paced anime I've been watching lately, I'm getting used to watching things slowly. It doesn't always have to be boom, boom, and death. I still like boom, boom, and death though. <laughs> but it doesn't always have to be that way. Uh, if you're not a fan of a slow paced show, because this is a mystery and it needs to have a slow pace, the pacing might be an issue for you. This show is pretty slow. And another con would have to be the ending. Kind of convenient. Um, it, it does give an option for a season two, kind of, sort of, but everything is somewhat resolved. There's finality to the ending of the show. So it's not one of those, like, gaping things, but if they wanted to come back, they could. They could do that, um, you know, and uh, everything is kind of conveniently wrapped up in a nice little bow. Uh, it, it's kind of convenient, you know, the ending. The ending, it's okay, it works, you know. I mean, it's not like some magnum umpus thing, but it works, though. Oh, man, taking everything into account, the ending, the animation, the music, the mystery aspect of the show... I have to give this show a B. Erased gets a B. Alright, so that's about it for this. Um, sorry this was long, but I really had to explain that ending. It was bothering me. But uh, that's about it for this. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, keep it real.